grabbed one for the blooper reel. Morning, everybody. Got that other banter t-shirt on, just realised. I love a uh, lovely bit of light coming in there. Morning, everybody. RMG thinks a sub. Could I get a blam as if you were from Belfast? Blah. <laughs> Zero out of ten and ten out of ten. I'll put that there. Put that aye, cause I turn my head that way. I turn my head that way to look at OBS so it's right that the mic is like that. Morning everybody. As a Belfastine, I'll give it ten, says uh Wig there. Um I'm starting to feel the heat a wee bit. Summer's coming. <laughs> Glen also vomit. Grenade, Great Gap, Babsby, Jumbo, Johnson, and MXV DJ. Thanks for subs. Able to not make a smash hit then? Fucked. Yeah, we fucked we are up. More of the same today, please. You fucking got it. Glad you're still here, Jumbo. Vomit, hope you're having a bloody horrible Thursday morning. You can keep, keep hoping because it's not happening. That one for the you can keep, keep hoping. Glenn also, thanks for elevating your subscription. Matt Fallon, fat bastard, shoving stuff. Thanks for subs. Did you get the chance to try three body problem yet? If you guys noticed that, thank you, but first of all, for supporting live comedy. What is it with people saying when you, you know, they tell you to watch a film or a, a teleseries, they say you should try it, you know, try, like, you know, try? <laughs> what do you mean, try it? I, I need to, I'll, I'll work on it a wee bit. But I've got, so, there's something there. I'll tell you what I've tried. Not, by the way, dancers, no, I've not tried it yet. I've heard people going like that. Uh, it's not that good, so I'm not going to waste my fucking time. Lo, do you think it's a sub? Uh, could you think about making an accent easier for Americans to understand so we can have an easier time getting my friends to watch your clips? It's fucking piss easy. You just need to get exposed to it for, for about an hour, and you'll get it like that, nah, hour. Uh, for about, uh, uh, about an hour, you put like that, what? A boot, an oor, and um, your mind will calibrate. No bother. Peck chart, Tommy, Scramble, Shaney thinks of subs. I'm the meme. Can I get a death threat, please? No, I'm not falling out of that trap because I'm already in trouble with TikTok, everybody. That um, radiator knob video that I posted, which is just of a radiator knob. I got a, I got removed from TikTok and I got a warning for nudity and sexual, uh, sexual activity and nudity. With a wee, a wee kind of bit below it saying, we celebrate all body types and all that, you know, we celebrate all that. But you just can't be showing you shagging. It was like that kind of fucking part of anything. Um... You're not allowed to show nudity like that. Ready or knob. Um, but I'll keep posting to it. Uh, you know what I want to do though? Re-upload that and get myself banned for TikTok. So I can say I got myself banned for TikTok for that. Little, uh, Littleton thinks the, the, the bits. Time guesser. It's like GeoGuessr but using historic 40 so we got uh, get a guess to here as well. That sounds really good. 
a little tin. I'll look that up. What is it? Is it on Steam? What's that? It's a browser game. That sounds good. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Ace says we've done this. Really, Ace, have we? Consul, I think it's a sub. Thank you very much. Elusive Trump, Colin, Joe thinks the subs a bits. Welly Song and Hannah thinks the subs. There's a screw in my pizza, dear Liza, dear Liza. That's right, there was a screw in the fucking pizza. Haldane thinks the sub. Masters are starting to get my cunt back in the fairway. I don't want any I don't want any stress. So hot, it's the 10th record-breaking month in a row. Can't wait for the end. Is it hot? Is that record-breaking heat today? John Bond thinks it's sub. Nice one, John Bond. Hey, Elusive Trump thinks again. I hope I've not missed anybody. I don't think so. Woodley thinks it's sub. What productivity has plummeted since your return? Wouldn't have it anywhere. Thank you very much. Just don't get caught. Hottest day since records began. There's a hole in my bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Eldest daughter syndrome is real and it changes the lives of women in more ways than we... I suppose got to click on it. Find it. Dot, dot, dot. Got to click on it. There's this cunt again. Why have a children made me more, not less, hopeful that we can fight the climate crisis? I don't like that. I don't... I don't like that, that wire writing. I don't like... Why haven't children made me more... Not less hopeful that we. I don't like. I don't like this. That more right. Hold on. Not less right. Right. Now remember what we we're talking about before. Right. We're going to come back to that hopeful. Because see, by the time you come back to hopeful, I'm like, what? What are we talking about again? What were we talking about? What they should have done is, why having children made me more hopeful, not less, with regards to the subject of whether or not we can fight the climate crisis should be the title. A discovery among the mummies reveals a sick, sad truth. You know what? I'm not going to get involved Case is a curse. Too easy. Well, too easy. What's uh? You know what? See for a for a wee giggle. Let's do time guesser. Oh look! Uh, that is. Seventy three. Oh, oh, wait, 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 and um, I've got to pick well. That is, I know exactly. Wait, where could this, what country is this? Bibliotheque Gallery. Germany. East Germany, West Germany. Do you know what? I'm going to go daft, and I'm actually going to go with Paris. And I'm going to go in the Montmartre area, which is up here. I'm going to go right fucking there. Alright, no, I was... 
Switzerland. Uh, what what year though? Seventy five. Uh, that is. Disney World, Disney... Oh, wait a minute. They're cycling. Could be a kind of wee fun thing for... Like, now that's Paris. That's Disneyland Paris, which, as we know, is right there. Bang. Bang. And that is... It could be Disney World. It could be Disneyland. But see, just because they're on... Because they're on bikes, I'm thinking... Maybe they've went, one more day in the Paris one. And that is... Two thousand four. Nineteen ninety seven. Seven years off. And... Only 21 kilometres away, which is very, very, very close. Unfortunately, we have a, a what appears to be a world war here. Um, or is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, looks a bit funny. What helmets are these? Are these Americans? Are these Germans? I don't. I don't recognise that. These look like fucking. Like. Right, you know what? What's that there, though? Okay, that's Switzerland again. In fact, no, no, you know what it is? It's Belgium. In fact, it's right there. See, see, do you know what it is? It's Cologne. That's Cologne. And that's your, that'll be your 19... To me, that looks like it's your... I say actually 1943, actually. 1945, and it's um, Sweden. Uh, no, it's no. Wait a minute. All right, it's right on that. Wait a minute. Is that where Copenhagen is? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, how, how am I seeing it when I, when I zoom in? Is that Copenhagen there? Dum, k -dum, k -dum. I've seen, I, I, I've no, I, I started watching that series, The Bridge. Where is The Bridge? Is it, is it that one there? Um, is that the bridge that connects Sweden? I didn't know Copenhagen was. I thought it was in the sort of you know, like the kind of mainland. Copenhagen. So why is it? Why is it showing these other bits before it's? Why have I got to zoom in like it's a region? Anyway, so I got that right. Okay, so that's your. That's your. Um, What's its name? Uh, Pride 85? I think that might be... Was it 1985? Or 1885? What is it again? It's hardly even worth doing. It's just a matter of scrolling about until I go out. There it is. Piccadilly Circus. That's the one. 
Um, what's the... Try to think of the angle. Where's Leicester Square? Where's Leicester Square? Is it not to the east of that? There it is there, right? Leicester Square, and then you go along there, you come along there. And then, is that? Is that it? Is that it there? What's the big fucking this here? What? I think it's that. Is this it here? Right, so let's say they're right there. Probably got it wrong. 1985. And uh, not 85. What was that again? 85, aye. Twenty five meters away. Oh, it's there. Right. Nineteen forty six. I was close. Two point five kilometers away. Forty four. We bit bold. I can't remember if uh, the Nazis were out of France by forty four. Uh, um, I'm referring to my studies. I'm not a vampire, right? Like I was there. I've been there everywhere. P. Diddley, thanks for sub. Thank you very much, crew fan. Ben, thanks for subs. What's your favourite non-Scotland European city? I've not been to many. Um, quite like London, believe it or not. John Connor thinks the sub. Rabbit Killer thinks the sub. My son loves loves it when I change his nappy and I say I can see your belly. So apologies for the part of theft. It's no my part to get to be a uh, thieves for. From where I was sitting, sitting, I can see your belly. So your son's going to grow up. He's going to forget about that. And then he'll spot it one day. Like on uh, YouTube. Paddy, Steve, spot Spidey thinks the subs. 66 badge is worth fucking holding on for. I can't change it now, too many people look forward to it. Jim and Cita and Magellan and Waffle thinks the subs. You're very welcome to the shite. Ian thinks they're elevating your sub. Joe thinks the sub. Hi Lummy, it's my pal Stetith birthday soon and I'm putting together a video in the style of the celebrities singing Imagine by John Lennon and it'd be amazing if you could introduce the video with a happy birthday to Lewis and then do the first line of the song to kick it off. Do you know there's... I could be getting like maybe 30 quid a pop on Cameo for this shite.
Happy 30th birthday, Lewis. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No more requests like that for the rest of the year. Thank you. Skib thinks the sub. Hope you had a nice holiday. Did you hear that the Pet Shop Boys have made a new song? So fuck. I like the Pet Shop Boys and everything, but... I don't know why they bother. Dillboy, Arnold and Goose thinks the subs. What's the worst experience you've ever had in a restaurant? Um, nothing springs to mind. Just usually, what I don't like in a restaurant is um, just taking fucking ages. Sneaky forty. Oh, aye, aye, that that can hang when I aye, when somebody's taking a fuck uh, a sneaky forty. I suppose it'd be that, but. The stuff that the, spo- the restaurant's responsible for, it's just usually, fuck me, how long? Arnold thinks the sub. Would you rather have a, an erection that never went away or a headache that never went away erection? People thinks the sub. Lost my 43 months streak because of your fucking holiday, but let's not dwell on it. But bollocks. Bollocks! For starters, I can see it's 43, and you could sub while I wasn't here. You can come on in the fucking... You can come on and sub when I'm not here. Bollocks. Thank you very much. G-Funk thinks the sub. Jump, jump, die thinks, thinks the sub. Thank you very much. Best communities on Twitch, right? Chop, choo-choo thinks the subs. Botanics or Kelvin Grove. I'm in the mood for the botanics. And what happened was I was on holiday and you decided I'm not going to sub to him while he's no here. What's the point in that? Your sub includes my holiday time. I'm allowed a fucking holiday and you just went like, you know, you know what, I'm going, I'm going to do it. Fuck him. He should be here 24 hours a fucking day. And you lost it. I've got another video, funny video, all made and ready to upload later today. But I'm going to upload it about six-ish. You're just going to have to wait for it. Um, I've not got anything else really recorded. Uh, I did a video at a green motor last night. I thought I'll record that green motor. There might be something I can make out of that. Um, had an idea about... Oh, there's that. Can that... That thing. Do that. What's that? Um, the most important thing to me now is every fucking day upload something, even if it's fucking shite, even by, oh, it's meant to be shite, standards. Just get something uploaded. Oh yeah. Real Ian White, Gary Steele, thanks for subs. I'm just streaking. I think the perfect nail clipper existed for my stuff. It's in, man. Until I discovered the comfort clip nail clipper. 20th, 27th of December 1974. I would, uh, October, November, I would have been alive for two months. I may very well have been plonked in front of the top of the pops. Watching that. So 1974. That makes me... Generation X. (laughs) 
generation Twitter. That means uh, generation X. Um, I saw a picture the other day. What was it? It was maps. Um, there's a, there's a, a few accounts I follow, or maybe it's just the one that shows old pictures of Glasgow. Um, Lynn retweeted one or something. Um, where, where the fuck was it? I'm I'm about to tell you a story that's not going to interest you at all, but it's happening. So that's that. Honestly, I, th I think back to fucking... Um, I was going up the fucking tune. My cell. In primary school. I'm like, did that fucking happen? I'm like, you're definitely doing it during that summer between fucking primary and, and secondary. And that's when you became parley with the two brothers you're pal away by that point you were already gone up primary seven is like do you remember primary seven i remember primary seven remember when the games came out in treasure island my brother tell me about this game that was in treasure island that game i got between myself i'm sure there's a lot of wins that fucking day that but i would just uh where is it where the fuck was i there where am i So there, about five fucking miles, bus. My mom and dad, this is, this is this is Gen X. This is Generation X, this is what it was like. Mom and dad wouldn't know where the fuck I was, when they care. And that's not because they were neglectful. That's just the way it was. Nobody gave a fuck about anybody. I built the tune, uh, kicking about, myself, walking about, uh, then nothing. Just exploring and then I fucking come back. And my mum and dad would go like that. Ah, where were you? Or worried sick. Just you went out, you came back. If you died, you died. Um fucking unthinkable. Fucking no. As far as I'm concerned, can it unthinkable? Anyway. The picture was, what was it again? The bus would come all the way up. Is that Kilmarnock Road? Is that the right one? No, that's, that's, that's not right. What is it? Aye. Got away there, up there, past there, past Shawlands. Eglinton Toll, past there. And then, I just got these memories. I've got this one memory. Um... These two lassies down the front of the bus. It was a kind of empty bus. It was sunny. The bus was hot. Hardly anybody was on it. Up the up the top. I was up the back on the other bike. And there was these two lassies down the front. Um playing, what was it? Relax. But Frankie goes to Hollywood. And it just sounded dead good. I don't think it was just out or anything, but it just sounded dead good. And then I the what, what did I used to do? I used to get the bus up the town, right? But what I did, this isn't interesting. If any of you are thinking, is this going to be interesting? Let me, I don't sub. See when I get hit with ads. Um, is it worth me, you know? Is this in You're not missing it, and don't worry about it. Um, I where would I get to? This is what I did. The bus would come down here, right? This is heading towards the town. This is heading kind of like north. Get to about there. Right, now this is the old picture that was on that account. It was just a picture of this pub here. Right? And that bridge. Um, and that brought back some memories, seeing that. I mean, I, obviously I fucking know this place. I'm talking about as if this is... Um, oh, I've not been to Glasgow in years. I used to stay there 50 fucking years ago. Um, I think the picture was that. That Was it? No, was it that? It was it that. It was up there. It was up at the fucking corner. No, it was that, was that up there. Right, so see what I'm, see the reason why I'm talking about this? I'm rang, but I'm talking about it now anyway. And what I used to do was see the bus that I would get. 
it'd be pretty much in a straight line the whole way uh, for five miles or whatever. And then it would take a left. So what I'd do is I'd get off at that bus stop. I think there was a bus stop about there. I would get off. And then I would walk the rest of the distance up this way. All the way up there. Keep going, keep going. Keep fucking going. Keep going. Keep going! All the way up. Until I was here at Boots Corner. Boots Corner. Because there used to be a Boots there with a big clock and all that. That was Boots Corner. Now it's called whatever the fuck it's called now. Central Station and all that, right? What I didn't know. And this is like the, this is the story. Got a game coming up. Got a couple of games coming up. Don't worry. Um, if you could, if you could provide a consistent way to uh, move forward, that'd be great. Fuck me, man. What I didn't know was, yes, the buses turned, my bus turned left there. Because this is one way, coming to you, right? So it kind of go that way. Is the bus goes this way, look. It takes a left, then it fucking takes a right. Because I stayed on once, I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to stay on, see where it goes. Because I had a bus pass. And I went, wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Jesus Christ, hurry up. Come on, you let me fucking zoom miles ahead before. Let me do it now. And it went all the way up here. There's fucking Central Station. And it would go up that way. But, uh I can smell this. Honestly, I did that every fucking time. Got off, what right, better walk now because the bus doesn't go this way. I can smell this. I can smell the grease. It's the smell of uh, chippies. And it smelled that way for as long as I can remember. I mean, really, when are they fucking going to do something with this? Tower Records. Thingy's umbrella. The healing man's umbrella. <laughs> Very good, really good actor. People go like, but he's a wrestler. He's shite. What's his first name again? Is it John? Craig? Dave? Dave? Dave Batista? Dave Batista? Isn't he a, a wrestler who got any acting? He's an actor who got, got any wrestling. Treasure Island. See if you want to make a fucking pile of money. Open up an arcade. I know, I know, I can, that, listen, we're in a big part of loop. Yesterday I was talking about the same stuff I've been talking about for the last fucking five years. And I'm doing it again with this. Used to be a porno cinema. That used to be the Odeon, uh, no, 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 the uh, Canon pornographic cinema. I would go in there and I'd walk past that and you'd see, you know, the, the, the kind of wee posters for the films. Purely pornographic. It wasn't that, well, they, they sort of did some arty films that tended to, that was just, that was just a porn thing. 
That's funny, isn't it? Canon. A cinema just for that. I can still taste the vending machine uh, hot chocolate. Subclub. You know how I once uh, saw a DJ in there? Um, Jarvis Cocker. Faye, what's its name? I just said it was DJ and one. I have a, what are they called again? Pulp. That was there. Near us was here. That, near that was there. That used to be your uh, sound control. I'd go in and look at synths that I couldn't buy. Games are coming up, everybody. When I was about 15, we used to get a carry out, go up the town, get a carry out, drink under that arch, that, that, that bit, whatever you call that. There's a wee bit underneath that that you can drink. We go under that, no underwater, but underneath the, 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 the big fucking stone thing. Can I get across that? I didn't know. A minute. You climb out the fence, and down there you can go kind of under the bridge. Was it sanitary? Sanitary enough. This is a wobbly street to cycle on. Um, if you've got a kind of a road bike with your tires inflated, so they're rock hard, you you go like that. This is high quality paving though because uh, this is um, this is your sheriff court where I, I faced I faced the full extent of the law in there the full extent of the law in there I faced justice in there And they blew it. They blew it. Because the policeman told the porky pie. Could have got me, I fucking admitted to it. Yes, I smashed that window. Could have got me in vandalism. Thought, you know what? Fuck it. I think it was breaking my intent to steal whatever the fuck it was. And they told a wee porky and they got caught out and I got like half wet. And you know what? I don't think I fucking should have. I really don't think I should have. But they gambled. They took the gamble and they fucking blew it. Had a witness there and everything. A witness who was probably dreading going into court for about a fucking year. Then she turns up, says, I am there. And then Hohen gets fucking thrown out. Let me where were you? 1999 at the Bells, Hogmanay, New Year's Eve. Where were you? Right there. Fucking shite. There's your Paddy's Market. Used to be like uh, people selling things, you know, like, you know, people just selling stuff, like, or stuff lying about. And you would say, get this place tidied up. It's like fucking Paddy's Market in here.
They do a nice homemade ginger beer there in mono. Thirteenth note never used to be there. Used to be in where Bacchus is. If you know what that is, I don't recognise this thirteenth note. Thirteenth note for me. Isn't it there again? Is it? Is it not there? Is it moved again? Small town, really, isn't it? Excuse me. Is this just if a wee bit of a tune? I just told you. I'd get the bus five miles. A real city. That's the edge. Five mile fucking radius is no bad. Uh, thank you, Val Dudes, who says, I'm honestly learning so much about Scottish culture right now. I love this. Thank you, because I just saw somebody saying, who is this uh, intro? Who is interesting? Who who is this interesting to? Thank you very much, Val Dudes. We need more people like you and less people like them. And I did say less and I meant less. I'm not saying for you. I'm not fucking saying for you. I gear up with that. Milford. Thanks for sub. Any chance of a teaser trailer for your next video? I've, I've just got to say this. I've thought about the Joker 2 trailer. And I just want to reiterate. Nick Hunt's going to like it. Kamshe, Soul Chicken, thanks for subs. Happy 49th. Fucking yes. One year to go. Only a few months for me, and then I turned the big fucking 5 0. Rich, thanks for sub. Are there any gigs you wish you could go back and see for the first time? No, really. I'm a different person now. The person who maybe used to like going to concerts would want to go back, but no, I'm not interested in uh, things like that anymore. Chris, Euphoria, Arctic, you're welcome to the company. Thanks to subs. Hey, it's Govan. Thanks to sub. The banter is real. The memes are real. The subscriptions is final. Mike Rooney, thanks to sub. Uh, the master starts today. Who do you think is going to win? Um, Tiger Woods. Barbo, real Ian White, Gary, Steel, Drama, Ghost, thinks the subs. What do you think about Livy's new stadium name, the home of the Set Fair Arena? What? Is that what it's called? It's, it's not called... I know it's not called Tony Macaroni Arena anymore. Is it called the home of the Set Fair Arena? That doesn't... What? I accept the cookies. I accept. That's fucking ridiculous. Livingston has announced that the... Home of the Set Fair, a local taxi firm, will take on the naming rights that's on. Home of the Set Fair will replace Italian restaurant chain Tony Macaroni. That's fucking ridiculous. What, the taxi company's called the Home of the Set Fair? That itself... Is the taxi company called? That's not. That's not how you name a fucking company. That's not what you call it. That's not even a fucking name. That's a. That's a strap line. Home of the set fair. Home of the set fair. West Lothian. Private hire, 2.5 average. I 
Uh, allow, no, no. Right. Home of the, right. West Lothian and County Private Hire, home of the set fair. That's a strap line, that's a... That's the name of the fucking, that's it there, that's the name of it there. West Lothian and County Private Hire, home of the set fair, how can I help you? Um, uh, uh, taxi, need to taxi to... Taxi to uh, Bathgate. And where in Bathgate are you going? No, that's where I am. Okay. And where are you going? Bathgate. Hunto, thanks to sub. A home of Limmy Stadium. I can't joke about it. Bruce Easley thinks it's sub. Saw Dune last night. Visually very good, but basically Star Wars, but not as much fun. They need to make a 90 minute version or 60 minute version. Go smart. Or remind me to talk about. Thanks for sub. Remind me to talk about uh, Mind Hunter. Home of the set fair arena. It's just. What's a strap line for another company? Just do it. I'm loving it. That's as the price. Home of the set fair arena. I don't. Uh, something's went wrong. Something's went seriously fucking wrong. Somebody's banged their fucking heat. Transmission. As mentioned in Franz Ferdinand's song. What's it called? Do You Want or something? Russian Cafe. I've been in there, went in there once, and these guys were playing, uh, did a wee show, an impromptu, well not impromptu actually, we kind of show like we, uh, I don't know, violins or fiddles or something, and it was very good. Where is it, where's the, there it is. I know I've said this before, right, right I'm going to play it again because I keep talking about the same things, I've only, I've only had about 12 experiences in my entire life and I just keep talking about the same ones. Again, again. That's where I went. When on Sunday, about 20 fucking years ago, probably 21 years ago, uh, I stayed in Brigton, which is kind of to the east that way. I said to Lynn, on the Sunday, uh, Lynn says, uh, do you want to go up, we'll go out for a, a drink and go get something to eat? I can't, I've got to work. I can't have got to go into work. That's when I worked in Chunk, the company that me and Donny had, who's real. I've got to go and got to, got to go and get work done. What what work? How you, how can I get your work done during the week? I just I, I just it was too much. I just left it. And just got to go and get the work done. I just I need to get the work done. Can I go out, can I go out and have something to eat and have a wee drink? Got to get a work done. So I cycled for Brigton towards the west, which is in that direction where the office was, quite, you know, kind of Anderson area finishing, all the way a few miles in that direction. But I happened to pass here. But less than a mile from, about a mile from a fucking house. And had a wee jazz band playing right there, which they normally do, or normally did. It wasn't called Avant Garde, it was called something else. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go in, I'm going to have a pint. One pint. Just one pint. One pint. One pint. At about, like, say, midday or something. One pint. 
just one, and then go in uh, to work. Because that's too good. It just it's, I'm going to work and I'm miserable, and you go you go past some place playing. That's all you know. Fucking trombones and. I'm going. I'm. I, I'm going to go and, and and fucking live. I'm allowed one fucking drink. So I went in and I had one pint. I thought, you know what? I'm having another. I'm going to have one male. Because I like it here. I like it here. And then I will go into work. It was the work isn't that hard, but it's got to get done. I can do it with a couple of pints in me. It's no bother. Two pints, and then I decided after that, um, fuck it. I have three pints, but I'm starting to feel a bit bad about it. About no telling Lynn. So, I think when I ordered my third pint, um, I phoned Lynn and I said, all right, um, I'm in this pub that's uh, it's got um, a merchant city playing jazz, you want to come out? And she said, what? what? I'm in this, well, I'm in a, I'm in, you want to come out for a drink? I'm in... Um, there's a pub that's playing jazz. It's good. You you coming? Out. She says. She says. Uh, you said you're needing to go to work. You said we couldn't go out and have. A, I well, well. I'm I'm saying no that we can. But what about your work? Well, I just decided. To just you know. Just I can. I can maybe do it, you know the night or. Um, and I think she hung up on me. And I don't think I did go into work. Um, and I don't think I ended at three pints. I can't quite remember what happened. I'm I'm sort of blend. I'm sort of blending one incident with another. But I think what happened was I had another, then maybe had another, and maybe another one, and then. She phoned and I phoned or she messaged and said, right, well, why don't we go and see a film, like about an hour or something later? I went, all right. And she says, get me at the top of, was it this street? No, it was, oh. I think I'd maybe left by that point. I don't know, but I'll tell you where I went. I was actually in the place that used to be the 13th Note. Which was uh... fuck? Where was that? Where is that? Is it this way? Up there? Is it here? Ah, it's up here. Up here. I was to get on. I think I locked my bike up. That's where the 13th note used to be. Oh, by the way, you know the sketch, uh, A Round of Drinks? That was filmed in there. Um, So I went in there, got a white Russian. And I, I, I don't know why I got a fucking white Russian. I don't think I've ever had one before. I might have had one before. A fucking white Russian. I downed that. And I think I had another drink. I don't know. Then I got Lynn. Up here, I think. Got in. And then we started driving. And then... I was... I started talking. And she was like... I, I, I was slurring. <laughs> and she was like, oh, you're drunk. And I was like, I'm fine. 
And I think I was talking about me, and she's like, you're, you're drunk. And we're driving this way. Where would we have been going? But I remember, we're driving this way, because I'm going to tell you exactly where the thing. I've got, I'm going to play the game in a wee second. Going past this way, Anderson... Finnison, um, my office was down there, right? And it was run about here. I was like slurring or something, I don't know. And she went, oh, here, Stephen, I am don't want to go. Don't want to go to pictures or something like that. And I went like that, eh... Uh, I was like, fucking... She said, no, we're not, no, gone. And I went like that. Oh, fucking hell. Why, have, I know I've told this story before. Why are you being such a bastard? I said to her, as we're driving this way, and she, I think it was right here, breaks on, turned into that, and went like that, uh, And that was that. <laughs> and that was that. And I think I went, all right. And I went back to the office, which was there, there. And if I remember correctly, there was like, you know, booze there. There was booze. Because we did websites for booze companies and they, they sent us free booze. If I remember correctly. And that's why. In a couple of months, it'll be my 20 year anniversary of me no drinking anymore. It wasn't that that did it, but um, things like that. Smigs, old ball get thinks of subs and bits. 8 out of 10 owners said their cats prefer it, Irina. Exactly. Like that. Bula, my, my Tari. Thanks for sub. Home of the Potter. Jesh and Ovis. Hunto. Thanks for subs. Smigs thanks for sub. Planet Crafter. Um, I have. I have played it, I think. Right, I've got... A game called Return to Grace... Fucking love having a drink so day. Fucking love it. <laughs> Oliver, thanks for the sub. It is the best. It fucking is. It fucking is. Nothing. There's nothing better. It just, it just hits me sometimes. Learn having a, a wine or I just see somebody else having it. I go, look at you, it's getting to just have that feeling of a glass of wine. A large red wine. An elevated fucking state of being. A, f a better feeling. Feels better. I know I keep talking about it, but try weed or try weed, I don't like it. I do not like it. You've not tried it right, I fucking tried it in various forms, I don't like it. It doesn't go well with my brain at all. Fucking hate it. Makes me paranoid. Makes me feel shy. If I'm not being fucking sick, feeling sick, um, makes me paranoid, makes me feel fucking stupid. Doesn't make me feel relaxed. Doesn't make me feel relaxed at all. Don't like it. Uh, so, Mind Hunter. I was looking for things to watch when I was on holiday there. I thought I'll download some things. Um, 
to watch on the flight or or whenever. And one thing that got recommended was Mind Hunter. So I thought I've 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 watched an episode of that and I didn't like it. I thought I'll download it again and we'll see. And so I don't. It's, it's it's sort of based on a kind of true story that's like some FBI. Uh, criminal profiling, serial killer sort of person, that the, the beginnings of that whole branch or criminology or whatever it is. Um, uh, I downloaded it and I started, I didn't watch it when I was away, but I started watching it, I think, when I came back. I watched the first episode there and I thought, now I remember why I fucking stopped. Because I thought, this is shite. I don't like his acting. I don't like her acting, I don't like the directing, and I don't like the script. There's a bit, the two of them, the guy and his uh, girlfriend or prospective girlfriend or whatever are talking in a bar. And they're sort of like talking to each other, back and forth, they're sort of like, uh, I don't know, flirting or whatever, and he's saying that, and she's saying that, and he's saying that, and she's saying that, then he says this. Then she says that. Then he says this. Then she says that. I know you could say, isn't that just people talking? It's just, it just felt like... It just didn't feel fucking natural. It just felt like... It just didn't fucking... I thought, this is shit. Um, But I kept watching it. Um, and I was like, I'm not really interested. I thought, oh, I'd talk to a serial killer, right? Oh, he's a real person. Look, my, oh, Christ, he really did do that. That's terrible. That's a bit interesting. And then sort of losing interest. And then there's too much. I just go like that. Look, you're just after watching Breaking Bad. And a while before that, you're watching Better Call Saul. I'd watched Breaking Bad ages ago, but then I rewatched it. I thought, don't waste your fucking time with this. But I watched two episodes, then I started watching the third one, I thought, fucking stick where? Stick where? But I thought, you know what? Nah. So I looked up some website that said, best episodes, because it's, it's only got two series, best episodes... And one of them was like the final episode of the first series. I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go. I'm just just gonna jump straight to that. Uh, and it said the 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 bit the conversation with him and him. I thought, fuck it, I'll forward right through to that. And I did it. I just thought, I'm not watching it. I'm not going to watch it. But I just thought, I'm just going to go straight ahead. I'm not going to watch. It's ten fucking episodes a series. I'm not going to watch. Or episode three when I'm not enjoying it, or four when I'm not enjoying it, or five when I'm not really enjoying it, or fucking six, seven, eight, nine. It's boring me just saying the fucking numbers, never mind having to watch the fucking thing. And I thought, jump to that because it's a conversation with a serial killer that I'd already been watching, and I thought, how what happens here then? And then he does that and he came down. So is that it? I know, I know things have got to build to it. You don't, you don't like watch a film, go to the last fucking ten minutes and go, is that it? When you don't know what's been going on. But um, wasn't it? I uh, watched the wee Charles Manson bit, the second series. I just I'm not interested. I'm not interested. You do it apparently. Really? That's not a film. Two people windfall to which you saying you do apparently. Octa says, well, you would. No, I don't. Salvador says, you're a film. That's the most sense anybody's made in this fucking chart. You just said. Oppenheimer. I watched... Or Oppenheimer, except about, say about the last half hour, I went, I can't really watch this anymore. See, when it got to the bottom... Um, when I got to bombing Japan, I think it was just after that. Then it was about another half hour to go, and I thought, "There's more talking and all that, He's feeling bad about it and things like that." And I was like, "We're a wee bit bored now." 
but I just went, you know what, fuck it, and I, and I, um, I went, go to the last, like, five minutes or something, on a bit, and that was it. Attention span of a goldfish. I simply don't have the fucking time. See when you're watching something, see unless you're watching a film and you're like, see if it's three hours long and there's a good half hour in there somewhere, then that's worth watching. If that, if you're that type of person, then I go for it. See me, it's not that I'm on the verge of death, but maybe it's an age ro- I have fucking buzz up. And I felt like I bit my tongue here, but I didn't. I, I, I almost, I felt like I bit my fucking teeth. That was like biting my tongue, but I didn't feel any pain. What was that? I bit my teeth. Uh, I'm just like, I don't know if it's a, a, an age thing, but I'm just thinking, I've not got the fucking time to just watch f- pish. Or stuff I, I'm not that interested in. Or because I've seen so many things, that it's it's really fucking dropped off in terms of things that I like. And I'm just like, I, I can't watch another thing that's shite because I know that the next thing I watch will be shite as well. And the next thing after that, and after that, and after that, and after that, for about another 10, and then I'll find something that's that actually that film or whatever that was actually all right. I've done that for too fucking long now, stuck with films and stuck with tele series that I'm like, I don't like this, and I've done it anyway, and I'm just like that was fucking pish, and then I do it again and I do it again, and now I'm just like, I can recognise it early on. I'm just like this is not do you really think you're going to come away for this film or this telly programme and go, I really liked it? No, you know you're no. Just based on the last three fucking episodes. You know you're no. So I just don't waste any time. Don't waste any fucking time on it. The leftovers, man, that's the one. Honestly. Maybe you're a masochist. I'm just after telling you that I I don't watch it. Jongo says Leftovers is incredible. I agree. Incredibly shite. I know know, uh, I said it's like everybody's buying their heat earlier with that naming of that fucking stadium. But it's like everybody's buying their head when they like uh, the leftovers. I'm like, if you've not seen this film done about 20 times before, in the last uh, 40 years, I have. It is so... I, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, but there is a sort of line near the end. I've said it before. He doesn't say that. I've said this before. I've talked about this before. But somebody says to somebody else. He doesn't say this, right? But it's something like this, imagine. Um, Older guy talking to the younger guy. You'll be all right, kid. Then the younger one goes away. And then to himself. You'll be all right. Like that, that cliched, that fucking cheesy. Honestly. And everybody's like, oh, it's... You've got mixed up. I've not got mixed up. There you go, people go like that, see me shite. You know what I'm on about. You know what bit I'm talking about. 
That's the holdovers. Oh, it fucking is. It fucking is. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's one for the blooper reel. 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 <laughs> Let's see what the leftovers is then. How Kirsten Dunst outplayed Hollywood. What do you mean? You just got outplayed. Learn to block out the bullshit and focus on the art. Traders buying New Balance. Really? No fucking reading that. Uh... How we know the universe is 13.8 billion years old? Because we just day. Is there any, anything else out there that's going to fucking tell us we're wrong? No. Aye, because it is. Retiring in your 60s is becoming an impossible goal. Is 75 the new 65? Aye. No, that'll ruin it, that'll ruin it. Uh, what's the leftovers about? In fact, hold on. I'll find it for myself. I'll find it for myself. The leftovers. Just go to IMDB. I just want a kind of... Very... Oh, it's him. Three years after the disappearance of 2% of the global human population... A group of people in a small New York community try to continue their lives while coping with the tragedy of the unexplained nature of the... That sounds interesting. The... Oh... Right, seen a few things I don't like. Didn't like to look it up. Seen a few wee things I don't like. Few wee colour palette choices. Few wee colour palette choices that I don't quite like. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't sit there and watch something and go. I refuse to like this with a teal and orange color palette done to death, fucking thing. Um, but uh, sometimes when I see a trailer like that, I'm like, right, is this going to be as unoriginal as how it looks? I watch it though. Um. Something else I was going to say. I Twice recently, in the last uh, few months, I've started to watch something on like Netflix and I've put it off because it's too grainy. It's not so grainy as I can't see what's going on, though, that kind of thing, but... Um, it's a, a choice. What was it? It was... Um, they cloned thingy, can't remember, that, and something with Julianne Moore, or whatever her name is. Mm. 
It's like her and another woman, maybe. On the front. I think it's meant to be funny. I don't know. What's it called again? May? May, December, I Watch that. Grainy as fuck. I'm like... I just, when I see stuff like that, I'm like... Somebody's decided we need to put a lot of grain on this. And it just fucking irritates me. It just, it's just, you know, kind of style over fucking substance, white it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't force myself to dislike things like that. I don't, I honestly, I don't sit there and go like that. That's got grain on it. I'm going to refuse, I'm going to switch it off and I'm going to tell everybody on Twitter how much of a purist I am that that's not good enough for me, maybe for yous, but no for me. I, I fucking want it. I see it. I see what they're doing. I'm like, I just ignore it. Just ignore it. They're like, let's get a bit of fucking character and just fucking, let's noise it up. Um, I go like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick, stick with it. It doesn't matter. Just keep watching. It'll be good. Um, no, kind of get fucking past it. Ripley is perfect. Anybody disagreeing is wrong. It's got to be hard to uh, cope with the black and white, though. Dashfire and Muggins, thanks for subs. Thanks for getting rid of my what siblings. There can be only one, nearly four years, as you think. Thank you very fucking much. Your part is fantastic. <coughs> You're no longer Muggins the what. That part died with that what. Camera, thanks for the bits. You gave Better Call Saul a second chance and ended up loving it. Is there any... Is there not any other shows that could be the same for you? Also on the topic of colour parts. Did you watch Utopia on Channel 4? I don't think I did watch Utopia. Like, as in... I would remember if I watched the whole fucking series or whatever it is, but... Did I even watch an episode? I don't even... I don't, even, I don't think I even know what it is. But the reason why I... The reason why I've been Better Call Saul kind of like one episode in... Um, it's because I thought it was a certain type of thing. I thought that the comedy stuff I didn't like. The couple, the the married couple, the way they're kind of talking at each other, finishing each other's sentences. That's right. That's that's what happened. That I just thought. I don't like things like that. I just think they used to think this is funny. Do you just think it's funny the way they sort of talk at each other? I don't like things like that. I thought, I too unnatural. It's too, like, pleased with itself. I thought, is the whole fucking series going to be like this? So I just went like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Bend it. But then I went back to it. And after that point, it, it starts to become uh, normal. The boogie man says that wasn't supposed to be funny. No, no, but no. Do the 95 meat bin, thanks to subs. Leftovers is really worth a watch, thanks, Lemmy. Very welcome. Greatest of respects. Worth a watch to you. I'm always, I'm very wary of people going like that. This film's good. This telly series good. This series is good. Very wary. Are people saying that? You'll love this. Watch this. It's good. I don't say that about fucking anything. I don't say that about stuff I'm sure people will like. Never. It's good. It is. Like, say the good, the bad, and ugly, or, like, which I really like. And a lot of other people like, it's not like fucking Rocky 3, which I really like, but other people think it's just a lot of shite, which it kind of is, but I, I, I really like it. But it's not a lot of fucking shite. Why am I saying that? 
But um, even with that, I want to go like that. The good and the bad and ugly, oh, it's a good film. But they say that. Other people watch it go like, why is the dubbing all fucked? Why is it so long? It's shite, it's boring. Deny Rocky three times, I won't be doing that. But that um, Ripley got five stars in The Guardian. Could be alright. I'll watch that. And Hero James thinks the sub. Who needs new TV when you have Columbo and Silla? Exactly. I've got I've got all the eighties Columbos to watch. I've watched a lot of them, but some of them are so fucking shy. That's one that's what I, I kinda like about it. Not the seventies ones are actual quality as far as I'm concerned. But the 80s ones, some of them don't even make sense. You see this? Do you fucking see this shit? Jack Keeley, Sequisha, is starring, thanks to subs. Friends. Jay Berry thinks of the bits. I watched Mr. Mister In Between. No, no, I've not seen it. Disney Plus, right. New cake, Max. Thanks for subs. Thank you very much. Big man, thanks for sub. Bet you trade it all in. Bet you trade it all for one drink. Well done on 20 years sober. I could trade it off. I can, I'm, I'm allowed to have a drink. Nobody's stopping me. Other than me. Acid. Um, thanks for sub. Gibble sings the sub. Three body problems, shite. Is it? I don't think I would like it. There's too, there's too enough. Uh, there's too many complaints. Basie thinks the sub. Adrian drains the energy. I wonder what this new uh, Francis Francis Ford Coppola film's going to be like. It's got, it's got a number of fucking people who have got in a bit of trouble, if they know. Capola, that's where you're fucking rang. Because I, I looked it up. I always said, like in the 80s, because like Barry Norman on film, fucking whatever it was, would say Francis Ford Capola. That's what I always heard. Capola. I always heard that. And then I heard that it's actually Coppola. I was like, oh fuck, not this again. In fact, remember I actually showed it on the stream. He did a he did a, an intro for um the I did I watch it in the stream the uh, Godfather three the uh, was it Godfather I don't know Coda his kind of remake Coppola intro no apocalypse now Is it this? Hello, I'm Francis Ford Coppola, and it is... Coppola? Coppola? Is it a... Hello, I'm Francis Ford Coppola, and it is... Coppola. So, no Coppola, but Coppola. Is an amazing thought to me that The Godfather was made 50 years ago. I have an amazing thought to me. You can actually see that he's the brother of Talia Shire, you know, Adrian Verrocchi. You can sort of see it. If you see her at this age, you can see the similarity, see the eyes and there, the sort of cheekbones. Oh, didn't you know? 
That didn't you know? Thought to me that the she's in this new film he's then. Remember this? Can't believe we didn't always wear sun cream. Let's not regret our sunny memories. Let's do something about it. Number My seven. God. Uh, I first met uh, Francis when I was born, and I. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see. And I wanted to say we were a family of five. We had a uh, musician father. Let's go on with the game. Let's go on with the game now. River Pond Lake Dumpster thinks the subs. Recently watched through all the Cronenberg movies again. The Crimes of the Future is wicked. I'm going to... Uh, I've never seen Dead Ringers. David Cronenberg films. I've seen all the kind of like 70s and early 80s ones like um, Rabid. Shivers. Scanners. Videodrome. The Brood. Something else, wasn't there? The Fly. And then he sort of moved away from body horror. I've never, never seen Naked Lunch. Dead Zone. Oh, why Dead Zone? Which isn't, which is no like his other things, but. Uh, the thing he did, did a thing. It was John Carpenter. Existence, ex existence. Is that the one with the kind of you plug a sort of virtual reality sort of thing into your fucking neck or whatever it is? All oh, right, I've seen that, um, but I've not seen Dead Ringers and. I'm gonna watch that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back air these old ones that I never actually got into watching. Aye. Katie. Thanks for sub. Crimes of the Future is wicked good. Crimes of the Future. Everybody, this game... Uh, I don't. Ultra, yeah. Oh, oh, look. I kind of did something like that. Uh, they got got me a placement in my first uh, company that I worked in. Uh, web company, anyway. Did it with animated gifs. I was really pleased with myself, so I was. Dreamweaver? No, th was it? No, I don't think so. Nursing home talk. See, what I did was it's wee round buttons on the website that I made up and then in my new deal course. And with JavaScript, when you roll at it, it show it kind of lit up. Um, and when you rolled off it, it went to a GIF that went for the lit state to not lit. So you'd go at it, and then when you rolled off, it had a sort of like, you know, gentle sort of gone, you know, light kind of dimming off uh, very quickly. And it was really, really, really nice. The only downside is when the website first loads, you see all the fucking GIFs. You see all the, whole, all the fucking buttons are all lit up and then fade away to begin with. But that's good. Because that's like saying, here are the buttons here, just to draw your attention to them. The buttons here. It's a feature. I'll, and I'll keep that up, move that down there. They stole it, I utterly stole it. I think I tried to kind of replicate fucking Flash stuff that I saw before I actually got Flash. Bad, bad hair Jones, Joe thinks of subs. Is Conto McCuntface uh, looking forward to the start of the Masters today? I'll be in no, because there's no such person. Is Conto McCunto? 
Yeah, here we go. This game apparently only lasts a couple of hours. Um, you know, you know, let's put it. I don't want to load a game. Start game. Lo I don't want to load a game. Okay, we've got a problem. Creative bites. Stick's not responding. So this is actually uh, Ganymede. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. The year 3800. The ancient resting place of humanity's greatest achievement. Hold on. Impact in 10, 9, oh there it is. Return to grace. Addy? Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. <laughs> Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine. And you have 5.35 hours of oxygen. Maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Seriously. Stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. Oh, look at the Two hundred distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. This, this is worth locate the spire. So, you've fallen it so far. Good. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. Following it so far. Posh butler. How's the volume? There's something man made here. Examine. A weather station or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Day. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. So... By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. So, uh, as I understand it, uh, we're going to find something... Uh, this is in the year, like, almost 4000 AD. And we're going to the site of an ancient something. But have I got it so far? Ancient civilization, uh, uh, the where we come from, or that kind of thing. Oh no! <laughs> yep, there goes the back again. <laughs> She's just got a bike. She's got a bike back to normal, and that happened. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. 
Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. <laughs> She's got a morbid sense of humour, huh? I used to walk with a guy like that. Is that left mouse button? Right, right, hold on. Looks a little tight. Hello, everybody. Again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic, then. Ice quakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. We're close. I, I can feel it. He's following us. I hope so. Do you know why we're here? Good. Oh my god. This has to be it. This has to be it. We've located the spire, everybody. I I'm looking at what must be the spire superstructure. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500 year old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. A 500 year old stone? Did I just hear there? 500? There's a destroyed surface ladder. Storm! I 500. Storm! Yeah, stone. Stone. It's the same thing. Um. See an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. I see. So jump to that. <sighs> oh, 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 oh! Go on. Make it, Abby. I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. Where can I buy these gloves? All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. You're yeah, Grace. Your grace. If it pleases your grace. Hope my light still works. You should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. But at what cost? Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. The bonsal. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't Either. say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. Squeeze. Uh, all right, I don't want to examine it. Okay. The sound makes me think I'm on a what kind of uh, quiz show. There must be airflow in the tunnels. Uh, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. First, examine it. Left click to examine. And then left click to. Jeez. That's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is math, once. Math, math, math. It's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous strong impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? <laughs> Gosh, I hope this is the right way. He's behind me, isn't he? I need these 
his gloves as a plushie. Uh, Red Panda thinks it's three quid. Addy? Oh no. Can I shout out for Jenny as it's her thirtieth birthday? Oh. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. <laughs> enormous. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. Fucking banter between these two is the best. Jenny, happy 30th birthday. Sorry you're feeling blue about that age. Um almost 20 years ahead of you. Um uh, you just it's, this goes out for everybody that age. Enjoy thinking to yourself, Christ I'm old, Christ I'm old, Christ I'm old for the next 20 years. Christ I'm old. <laughs> 30. 33, can I believe it? Christ. 34, Christ. 35, Christ. You need to learn to live in the moment and, and enjoy the age you're in. Enjoy it. Jimmy thinks that the bits. Would you be a fan of Starship Troopers? What does that mean? Would I be a fan of it? I've seen it. I like it. What does would you be a fan of it? What does that mean, everybody? What does it mean? Another example. Look, we've got home of the fixed fair, whatever the fuck it is, arena. Like, that's not a... Don't name a company with a str fucking strap line. And then we've got something like, would you be a fan of Starship Troopers? What do you mean? And what? And what's it... What, what does that mean? Do I like the film? Have I seen it and do I like it? Referring to the game? Isn't that, isn't that game? Is it? It basically means what you know it means. I, I don't think... I don't think I should... No. No. That wasn't the question. I don't know what the question means. Would you be a fan? I would be. I would be. But... So of peanuts thinks the sub? I'm not a sunburnt mess. I got sunburnt on the first day of my holiday, but then I, um, I watched it. I watched myself after that. Or oh, that I was fucking red the last time I... Steve, uh, thanks for sub. More Gates of Glasgow content. More stuff coming later. Chili, thanks for sub. Can't we choose a name for a new kitten? Um, about Chester. That's a left back. The stick aren't responding, John. Red Panda, bad hair Jones, thanks for subs. So I hope you're following this game, you know what this is. I found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. Connect with Spire, right? Scan it. Let's get it scanned. This language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration. I'm not using my fucking gyro. That's all I've got. Still ask me for a fortnight. Or oh, gyroscope. Right. Oh, what have I got? ADWS, right. I have to hack it. Right, what? What is it? What? Watch the meter closely and move your hand slowly to find the position. Right. Oh, that, that, the lights, I see. Second right. Calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. Okay. That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I need that oh, for yeah. my wallpaper. Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. 
Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Um. Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are oh. you... Grace? Hmm. Oh. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Hmm. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. I hope you're following us. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. Right. Manual winch at the bottom of one of the doors. Did I hear that correctly? Or a hinged floor grate at the foot of one of the doors. Okay. Yeah, well, I just actually saw something there. Um The winch is this set must be it. Uh, yep, thank Working you. The winch will open the door. This game lasts tools. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Right. He's across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune. And then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. Was Grace some sort of fucking thing that appeared or that got made or? The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. This is pissed, that's where you're wrong. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, oh, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. I can do that. A puzzle? Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. Right. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. <gasps> I'll call you Logic then. For now. So you have a better that. idea of who you are. And uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Goes both ways, doesn't it? Right. I hope you're following us. Who are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an asteroid, right? Fallen it? Certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's this is story, uh, This is story rich. Pulled yep. From the heavens. That makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. Fuck I can't gone, imagine the it? effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. I can't even follow it. Anything like that today. I'm fucking useless. Can you open this? What the fuck is Grace? Some what is Grace? I will need to direct power from logic to control processing, and I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean at the same level? Good luck, Addy. Um, is Grace some sort of supercomputer that people built that enabled us to, um? Pfft, remarkable things for a num uh, hundreds of years or something or did they just appear or what you still there where would I have gone oh yeah. Sound a little different just stronger the voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators evil in the spillway and this turbine still works it worked before and it will work again 
evil. You'll find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. These look like holding tanks. How exactly do these turbines work? Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. You will help me escape this place. So, why do you need me to start these? Generator! Edition, a time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Huh? Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. Shone. I was the hand that divided the firmament. Right. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right. Oh my God, Elsa. These look like crystal core processors. Crystal meth. Amazing. You can find the material to build one of those today. You must go to the turbine. I'll, I trust this guy. I trust this uh, voice. Sounds like he knows what he's... Why is that voice familiar? Because it sounds like fucking... Uh, like the God kind of voice for um, uh, Talos Principle. Going down. Or I'm something like that. Be down here, right? Star you Trek. Be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. Um. Star Trek Final Frontier. You will help me leave this place so that I may destroy other faulty machines. Other fault? These are people you're talking about. Whole civilizations. They must be cleansed. You must now go to the magnetic crane. There was a reason why it wasn't found for 500 years. For a thousand years. You're because the people all... living here at the time shut it down. You trust in my word. Yes. Be something like that, wouldn't it? Throbs. Area. Da, 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 you must da. first cast out the old turbine. Cast out. Uh, okay. Hoist! Now cast aside the wretched unit. Wretched? Um, okay. Now you shall place the new turbine. Okay, so that just happened. I need this turbine as a plushie. That's your turbine replaced. Everett? Hello? Ever Hello? Everett, Hi. Is that you? Everett, is that you? Everett. Everett? Are you down there? Behold my power. What's happened? Big fucking cock. Big fucking stoner. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. 
I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know who Everett is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. Like? But I could not tell you who Everett is. You I'm must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long he before he notices. Did that come up this way? No, no. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There Fuck is more Grace, complex man. to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. I kind of remember. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet. Dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. I'm not leaving. And you were showing such promise. Oh, I've made them angry. Um. Do you know what these are? I have no record. They are likely parts to support the workings of this station. How do you? Was it this way? Classic walking sim. Need running. So, are well. there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the Fuck first is Grace. There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So. She went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. Ah. The research that led me here was based on oral histories, mostly. And some artifacts we uncovered on Earth. But left too much to the computers. ...devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. Right. We made some sort of big supercomputer thing that, 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 that handled everything. And everything was lost. From what I can tell... There is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. So I think this is about, like, um... I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Is that, is that there's something? Uh, right. It's about, you know, dictatorships and all that. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. All right, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Ta. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? The Roman numeral 10? Okay, okay. Incredible how I didn't have to look that up. See? I know about history. I did that. Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Do you believe Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her? Like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Nani State would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors. That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. Right. Uh, what are I... these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the spire, but they no longer store any useful information. Now, deciding where to walk is a big decision. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurised. Because it takes so fucking long to get I anywhere. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? 
I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support to be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy can processing. It? I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hey, can it? Hello, Addy. Hello. This... So you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. Empathy. Who? Let me accompany you along the path ahead. I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Oh, logic and empathy. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. This watch what is, is confused. Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? That is. Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Is this, is this the way I came? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addy. There are no wrong choices. Um. Uh, that there. How about this one? A solid choice. You walked an unsteady path to get here, and I think you've come in search of comfort, perhaps. Or you wish to become part of something bigger than yourself. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. I'm an empath. You make your way to the artifact display by the boardwalk. I'm an empath. Wait a minute. Uh, where have I go? What, what was that there? Is this the way I came? See, there you go. See if you fuck it up. See the time it's going to take me to get up there. She told me to do something. I know I didn't hear her. Something to do with a boardwalk. Um, something, something, something. Do you recognise any of the objects in this section of yes, the garden? Yes, cats. Uh, fox thing. Wolf. For the calibration process. Um, I have no idea what this is. A weapon or tool of some kind it's a device for working metal why do you suppose it's in this garden addy it could be a symbol of hard work an industrious future or a laborious past perhaps am i doing this right you are doing splendidly please don't That's ask all. me this cannot possibly be necessary temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addy. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range. I don't. The pergola in the I don't. Of the room. I don't. I don't. I don't. Um. I don't wish to consider more objects. So that's the way. Um, ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed. That's and it. Go about setting oxygen levels. Right, it's done. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional twenty-one percent? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center. Twenty-one percent oxygen travels between you and I as we're speaking. Can I go now? Or did I not hear that right? Please, please. Whenever you're ready, you can move to the space under oh, the right eye. I have one last exercise for the life support balancing. Please. 
please let shift enable me to run? Please? Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. I need these gloves. Now I want you to take a deep breath. Oh, hold. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. It's poison, eh? Three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Deep as you can, Addy. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addy. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please, shut out any negative energy and take in another life nurturing breath. I felt one. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, Two, one, and release. Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addy? Kinda nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. Why is this fucking... What have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. CBB's program, yoga sort of thing. <laughs> Let's try again. What's it called? To um, what's it called? Hold oh. it. What the fuck is this? Way below. Try again. Thanks, Eddie. Pop the bomb. Get this far, Addy? Just concentrate on your breathing. Uh, what? Hold oh, it. Right. Three, two, one, and that's ten seconds. Fuck is this way below? We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs past the flowers. Um See when I go past this door. This is this game's last <laughs> game. Game's last chance. I'll do my best to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working. If something Grace was shut down in a human conflict. Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. Let her down gently, they are very, very cool. nice. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. This looks like a welder's jetpack. It's been disassembled for some reason. This one looks to be in working order. No power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the room? 
to the left of the rear door. But as I said, you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. Don't tell me. Walk it half a mile an hour. Uh, right. This should show the power status of the room's various systems. Right. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids mm. across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What Surely about you, shut that game up. I apparently offer <laughs> wisdom to the wind. You activated control and empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with... Can I have some empathy. game with my audio book? Possible, but there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addy. You're right. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep, it's me. Great. Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. Fuck me! What's that, two minutes? Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. Don't tell me and that one... I'm pal? Sure. We'll Shh. call you pal. Don't tell me that one switches on like that light and that light and that one switches on like it reverses that and then you got to put... Right, here we go. What? Just switch them on. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that that's my, on a different system. That's my kind of puzzle. Concentrated Vimto, tells you. Heart rate check. Sixty BPM by the sound, uh, by the the feel. Yeah. One beat per second by the feel. Enkai Blake knows Petros. Uh, Rob thinks of subs. This is a big. Uh, I'd like to sincerely and wholeheartedly congratulate you and your fiance K uh, Kaya on getting engaged in Prague. That's one of the most believable ones. Chloe thinks the sub. A busty blam, the blam's been taken, but happy busty, I'm sorry. Ain't and crash my Uber, Lil Shlammy, Toppy, JK. Uh, Joe thinks the subs. The bath doesn't touch the one and back after he posted filth on TikTok. I'm fucking re-uploading that. See that see that video that I posted to TikTok that I got a wee warning for of a fucking radiator knob that I got a warning of nudity and sexual activity. You know what you know you know what the warning was? Nudity and sexual activity between adults. I actually fucking said that. It's a fucking plastic radiator knob. I want to upload it. I want to get fucking banned for TikTok for that. That'd be a laugh. Power's up. That's Let's my kind of puzzle. Um, what's that? Us? Go ahead. Push the throttle on the console. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. Who the fuck is this? It's so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. It's okay. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Ah, uh, it's Erdale. Mm, I don't know. Is it Erdale? 
Don't tell me it's there, there. Let's look for something to deal with the ice. Um, I think I've had just a bit. This could be promising. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> enough. Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. Uh, so, what's it gonna do exactly? Oh, I think you're gonna like it. This is a welder. See if it still works. Look at that. A little blue light. That's not gonna cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Whoa, that's more like it. Okay. Whoa. I like that. What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? I was close. Them. I was okay. close. I can take control if you like. You know how to fly this? Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! It's working! We can fly! Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know. I don't want to get hurt. Yep. I don't want to get hurt. kill me. Na, 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 na. All right. This should be close enough. Don't tell me there's three of them, maybe it's five so of them. Warm. Just hold me steady. This is really hard. Ugh. These stupid flames are throwing me around. Ah, fuck it. Oh, F4. Ah. Yeah. Nah, enough's enough. Enough's enough. Rain, thanks to sub. Just got engaged to my boyfriend of four years, Henry. Love his wee smile and rosy red cheeks. Rain, enough's enough. Right. Boyfriend of four years. 2020. Or about the time lockdown. Am I right? That kind of... Has anybody seen this, Henry? If so, are those people real? Mr. Writer, Dezo, thinks the subs. I'm out here. Um, right, I've got an old game called Night Bus. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'll, I'll, I'll look at the game in a wee second. I was up a wee bit late. I was up a wee bit late last night. Um. Let's go to Kentucky. Got Elizabeth Town. Taco Bell. That's your KFC there. West Point Bank. Um, no, I don't want to just go to the usual place. I want a kind of local. Don't want to touch McDonald's and... Hold well on. Sonic Driving. What's that? Bluegrass. A minute, this looks good. That looks good, what's that? Meat and catering. Bluegrass meats and catering. Barbecue. Um, 
Hold on, that looks nice. Barbecue. Hi, uh, some meat, please. Two portions of meat. Right, wait a minute. Right. Uh, how do I... Right, so I can't click on that. Right, what about if I... Right, so that kind of get clicked on. Uh, can I get clicked on? America's driving. Sonic. What the fuck is Sonic? Right. I would like to... Right, so if I maybe close that. Yeah, there we go, right. I'll be four. Sonic Driving's only got 3.7, that's promising. And Bluegrass Meats and Catering, 4.8. You know what? Let's be positive. Let's not just focus on negatives. Two weeks ago, this is my first time eating here. I went through drive through We went through drive through Firstly, the food came out in a timely manner. Along with friendly service. It came out in a timely manner. Oh, aren't we all? Bookie. When we're writing a review. Uh, it's not a cup of tea. Just meat on fucking crisps, really. I fucking hate jalapenos. Hate them. Oh dear. Seven months ago, one... Um, got, there's another game coming up, but... I got three tacos. This is one out of five. One brisket, one chicken, one pork with macaroni. This is it here. Uh, the meat was cold on the chicken and the pork. The macaroni was flavourless. They had good service and a great attitude, but I wasted money today. Oh, dear. I wasted money today. The meat was cold on the chicken and the pork. The chicken and the pork is the meat. What do you mean the meat was cold on it? But I wasted money today. I'm gonna to, I'm gonna remember that one. Well wasted money today. I wasted money today. That's some well Maybe just say it as you're walking out the place. No directly to a member of staff, but just in earshot. So they can hear it. You say it to the person next to you. Well, I wasted money today. <clears throat> Won't be back. Food one. Self is four. This is one out of five. We've got this. We've had this problem before. One out of five, even though food got one. Service gets four, atmosphere gets four. Let's add it up. One plus four is five, plus four uh, is nine. Nine then divided by the total of things. Nine divided by three. That's an average of three for each of those three things. This should be three stars. And what? Oh I that does look cold. Christ, I can see the lack of flavour there. Well, good reviews. Everybody else is happy. Right, I might check out Sonic Driving. There it is. That's good to meet. Ah, oh, fuck your fucking McDonald's and Burger King and all that. Sonic. Hi, can I have a, a cup of red Sonic and black Sonic with ice? Sonic Bites, a Sonic Dog and a Sonic Burger. This is fucking... No burger on earth 
the only time you ever see that, that's the sort of thing you see in these videos, we short videos, how did they do it? Like when I did an advert, a pizza advert, the cheese isn't really cheese, it's glue. So And then they sort of nail it down, so when they lift it up, it sort of stretches it and all that. Nothing, that's, this doesn't exist anywhere. This can't be made. <laughs> doesn't quite... It's just a different angle. See that there? See if you took a picture of that for that angle. That's what it looked like. It's an unflattering angle. Everybody knows about that. Right. 3.7. I gave him a fucking chance, would you? Fast food burger and fries joint with an old school feel, including retro drive and service. They go old school, retro. Maybe some people don't get it. It's meant to be like this. Stephen Williams, one star three days ago. If I could give negative stars, we're going to read this and I want to see some, see some pictures because it could be, you know, it could be without the pictures, you know, it could be, it could be Arby's. Uh, staff at Arby's, staff at McDonald's, staff at KFC down here. Because that's how these, these companies get to the top, by these techniques. Terrorism, basically. DJ T-Boy and Proactive John, thanks for subs. Thank you very much, no money wasted here. Humble Scrape and Scott, thanks for sub. I feel very refreshed, I. BWM, thanks for sub. Truck finder thinks a sub. Girlfriend's off sick today and I couldn't think of anything to make her feel worse than four hours of your mug. Keep up. Thank you very much. Kuwika thinks a sub. Uh, recommendations for New York. Go to Tourly Turd and Tour. Just off Broadway. As for Joey. Tell him. Brizy boy sent you. If I could give negative stars, I would. Woof. Not even zero, but negative. Service here is non-existent. The food is mediocre at best. And that is only if they get your order right. I have left there without ordering so many times. Because they ignore you. Just the other day. In fact, just the other day. I would do a new... I pity you can't do a new paragraphs now. Just the other day. I stopped... Aye, mediocre. Mediocre. Med. Medi. Middle. At best. At best. So, there, there are times where you do get it... Uh, uh, you know, mediocre at best. So you've admitted it. Just the other day, in fact, I stopped in to get a shake for my daughter who was being released for the hospital. I pulled up to the driver. Two employees saw me, but after five minutes, no one took my order. Fucking scum. So I pulled into a stall. Five minutes later, they finally took my order. Fifteen minutes after that, I still had no shake. But I had to leave to get my kid. So I hit the button and told them to cancel it. They asked me what I ordered. And I told them. They said it would be right out. It was. It was also melted. It had been sitting out waiting on them to stop playing around in the kitchen. Which I could see them doing. And do their jobs. Oh. There were only three cars there. Including mine. That was the last straw. I will never go back. Their management should be fired along with the entire staff. Remember, the management is staff as well. But that's, that doesn't really matter. Food, one. 
Surface, one. Atmosphere, one. Atmosphere? Eh, uh, you didn't go in. You didn't really go in. You can't, you can't mark it on atmosphere. So by default, you, you should be making like maybe three. Anyway. We're well, sorry to hear you had a negative experience with one of our locations, so if you'd like to escalate your feedback to the franchise owner, team is happy to fill a report. We encourage you to give us a call at this number or visit this website whenever you have time. Thank you. God bless. Phone them? No, don't be daft. <laughs> Hi, I'm f phoning from Glasgow. I'm streaming right now and I'm winding you up. At the cost of 300 pounds £300 per minute. <laughs> gotcha. You be next. We'll be next. Is that a threat? No, no. You you be next. You be next. Is that a threat? You've been exed. I'm not saying you've been. You'll be next. I'm saying you've you've been exed. The Jamie Kennedy um, experiment. New on the WB. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ordered the head on. I don't want I just want to see 40s now. I'm seeing like the word horrible and all that pop up. Pictures, please. There we go. A year ago, fuck me. Let's get that on the screen. That looks good to me. This location doesn't even deserve one star. We've got another one that resents having to put a star. Wait time was almost 30 minutes. It was drive through only, so cars are wrapped around and actually affecting traffic. It's actually A for affecting. I know, I don't get it. I know. It should just, they should just start make effect and we an E at the end. It's not like it's confusing. That's the purpose of spelling and grammar as far as I'm concerned. Is that confusing? It's affecting traffic. Is that confusing? Did I read that and go like that? I don't know what you mean by that. No, so it should be all right. On the main road, half the food was cold and the other half overcooked. Never happy. Put the overcooked food next to the fucking... Mix it in with the uh, the cold stuff and it'll be, it'll balance it. I was so excited to try the Big Dill Burger. Were you really? Big Dill Burger? Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like, sounds like Dill. <laughs> I was so excited to try the Big Dill Burger. I don't, how excited can you get about, right, and if done right, I bet it's delicious. But what I got was not right. She should give a star for that. Just for saying that you you, you bet it's delicious. Like, give a star, get an extra star for that. If done right, I bet it's delicious. But what I got was not. So you, right, get a star because you're saying it is delicious. It's just it was cold. So that should be four stars. The burger was cold, the fried pickles soggy and cold. And worst of all... The lettuce had pieces that were brown and slimy. The hot dog and tots were overcooked. I requested to speak to someone but never received a call. There are too many other choices in the area to waste my time. And I said, like, fuck them. They've had their chance. You gave them a chance. You had McDonald's down the road. You had KFC down the road. You got Arby's and um, Taco Bell and all these other ones. And you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to give this lot a go. And they fucked you. Yeah. Everybody's waiting for ages. My chicken sandwich was literally raw. Oh, oh my. That's a um, potential fucking health risk, that. I 
Hi there, we are sorry to disappoint you and appreciate you letting us know. Two months ago. Uh, nearly got food poisoning. Uh, I appreciate you letting us know. Thank you. Thanks for that. Not good, not good, not good. Had bad day. Wanted hot dogs. Paid for two hot dogs. And a milkshake. Bill was like $12. Received food after waiting around 15 or 20 minutes. Yep, common complaint. Left excited. A lot of people excited to their trip to this place. I left excited, ripped open bag to find tater tots and a pretzel. My receipt was correct though. I don't even know why I'm leaving a review because I never go back anywhere when something isn't right. I don't know why. I just don't. We back in kind an of existential sort of thing going on there. So I'm just going to eat these chilli and cheese covered tots with my hands because there's no fork. This is a short story here. My receipt was correct. I don't even know why I'm leaving a review because I never go back anywhere when something isn't right. I don't know why. I just don't. So I'm just going to eat these chilli and cheese covered tots with my hands because there's no fork. Get that in the uh, one of these um, something of cultural significance sort of you know things. It has been entered into the what is it Smithsonian or one of these sorts of things. Library of Congress, I one of these things. Um, sorry to hear we disappointed you, John. If you'd like to escalate your feedback to the franchise owner, team's happy to file a report. But encourage you to give us a call with that number or visit the website whenever you have time. Right, thank you. Sorry to hear about that. Right, escalate it. Your call. There we go, that smell like it. Five stars. This place makes great shakes and slushies. Always love stopping by during happy hour. Looks nice. I like the bin at the end there. Cloud Whisper. And Stuart thinks it's subs and bits. You're very welcome to the lunchtime streams, getting your getting your appetite up with the sick. Thrill Hughes thinks the sub. That's good to me. America's driving. So this is it. Looks good. Good place. Any any food? Did you actually get anything, sir? I want one more shape picture and then I'm going back up to that person. That's not a lot of fucking pictures. Uh, right, who was the person who was like... Right, look for a picture. Aye, right, Richard. What else have you done? Anywhere else globally? Just America. Hampton Inn. Right, so a few places a bit there. Outlaw Grill in Arizona. Uh, just outside, just south of Flagstaff. Donuts are priced well. No, no, no. Any, anybody you don't like, you don't like here. Uh, KR thing, that's serious. That's that hospital. I'm not going to read that. Right. Hampton Inn and, and Sweets Rochester. Downtown. Five stars. Yeah. Looks good to me. Look at that, look. They put your name on the, the, the teller when you get in. Do other people feel the same about this place? 4.8, yeah. 
Very good. What is that anyway? Oh, it's just though. Ugly Duck Coffee, 4.7. Brew House. All these coffee places, you can't you can really get it wrong. It's always going to be like 4.5 minimum average, unless the staff are arseholes or something. No, this is a whole sort of nosh, 4.6. Give something that's fucking shake. Oh, Red Fern, four point seven bastards, man. This is a high standards uh, area. Every place is going to be kind of good. Four point seven. Nice. Nah, that's fucked. Not cafe. Four point five. Shite. Shite. Four point five. Monroe's. 4.1 Fucking look at it. Woo! Look at that! Monroe's restaurant, but a, a restaurant? I've never seen it like that. I mean, I've seen buildings like that, that whole fucking colonial sort of look. But it's not like a, a mansion or a house in like fucking uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 sort of thing. Interesting. What'd you see? Nice. All oh, right, you, you, right. It's a bit like that. Wee bit fancy. No fancy, but I bet you know you kind of just walk in with wearing joggies. Get a shite fucking cream. But I can. Nice. Nice. Everybody seems to be having a good time. It's that kind of thing. Very nice. Oh dear. This is only getting three out of five. We've been looking forward to this dinner for a while. Big mistake. Have to say, we were a little disappointed. The service was initially very slow, but she perked up after we had to go to ask for service. The drinks, appetizers and atmosphere were excellent, but she earned the three stars. Dinner was mediocre at best. Sounds very like... Um, uh, uh, Sonic... Mediocre at best. Lacking flavour. I know somebody had a prob uh, problem up with macaroni in another place. But really huge servings. We were a table of six and we brought some home, which doesn't normally happen. I really don't appreciate the automatic 22%. Gratuity on a party of six. Fucking 22%. I usually directly give the appropriate tip associated with this. This would have maybe been 18% at best. I see here, see here in Scotland anyway. Um, I've seen places that knew kind of recently automatically had 10% or no matter what. 10% tip added on by default, which you could, if you're an arsehole about it, go service was shite, take that 10% off. But what I've seen a lot 
what I've seen for a longer time is 10% um, service charge added to parties of six and over, like 10%. Fucking 22%? Go answer them. No. In fact, you can't really do it because it's the, it's the food. It's, the food seems to be the main complaint, and it's not like the chefs are getting the chefs, the cooks are fucking uh, getting the tips. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Any videos? Any videos of somebody cutting open no. a? Poached egg. Tell me when. Tell me when. The service was awful. Waitress was very rude to uh, very rude. Older lady, no personality. What deal? Older lady, you say. I just felt it was a bit ageist, you criticising her for being old. No, 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 I'm just merely trying to identify her. In case, in case the management like, who is it? It's, old, it's, the one, it's the older one. That's not the way I read it. Older lady, and you know what they're like. Placed an order for a take-out last night. This is one out of five. Like, listen, I don't need to read that. Just show me. This most certainly was the exact kale that was in my salad. I don't even think Wegman sells huge stock of kale. There's, there's... Oh, right. Um, are you saying that you think this is out of bag? Oh, here we go. Rachel, 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 you tried to place a takeout order and would not give your credit card info to complete your order. Monroe's does not place takeout orders unless paid in full. You were told that you would have to come in and place the order and pay it in cash at the bar. You were told. Your husband came in and did just that and ordered a beer. Your food was out within 15 minutes. The picture you have provided was not food from Monroe's restaurant. Best of luck to you, though. But best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. You're going to need it because you were unlucky this time trying to take us down. You got caught. And then she said, edit to add, this most certainly was the exact kale that was in my salad. I don't even think Wegman sells huge stocks of kale like this. Theirs are already pre-cut in a bag. Pathetic reply and another example of their horrible customer service. We'll never go back there. I've heard, heard for others actually that the horrible service is not an isolated instance. So it's actually not just me. Oh look, to add insult to injury, when I sent these pictures to the restaurant, the manager called and accused me of taking a picture of other kale and said that didn't look like their kale and then hung up on me. Woof! Seriously? Look. Seriously? See, that's why it's, you're, 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 it's not worth it. It's still worth it. Automatically includes 23% tip on the bill for mediocre service. Would you perhaps say mediocre at best? Hi, Christina. Listed on our menu and website is our policy regarding gratuity for large parties and no separate checks. Thank you. I think you should be a wee bit more, more friendly with the replies. No, I've kind of had enough. They're allowed to just fucking go in, <coughs> attack us, and I've got to say nothing back. I've got to be, oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, sorry you're not happy with that. It's there. It says clearly. It's time we fucking hit back. 
I just think it'll give people the feeling before they go to book a meal that if something does go wrong, you're just going to argue with them. And I will. I will argue with them if they're talking shit. I just don't think it's... Right, well, you're entitled to your opinion. Remember, this isn't... This is, I'm dealing with this. This is my side of the business. You're dealing with that. <coughs> Maybe if you dealt with your side of the business a bit better, I wouldn't have to deal with... You know what that means. You know what that means. I need to see... Uh, Rachel... One out of five for that. Two out of five for this. Hotel must be at the bottom of the Hyatt food chain. Rooms are not user friendly. Bathrooms are too small. Showers are lousy. Uh, I don't think you'd call a hotel user friendly. I don't think you... That's normally today with like apps, programs, software. You know, really, it's just no... I wouldn't really say that. A hotel's part of the food chain. Aye. Part of the food chain and they can be user-friendly or no. Why not? I mean, everything else is fucked. Let's say that a hotel is part of a food chain. I kind of get what she means. In terms of the, the, the business that owns it. Uh, she's calling a room user-friendly. There you've got a stadium in Livingston called the home of the fixed fair arena. Daniel and Chris, thanks for subs. Got an ad in the middle of the stream. Time to elevate my subscription. Thank you very much for jumping through the hoops. Meatball Zone and Preface Rug, thanks for subs and three quid. It works. Kofi works. Not a fan. It might be easier next time. Next time. Red Waffles and Cloud Whisper. Stuart, thanks for subs and bits. Thanks again. Um, I've got this game called Night Bus, but, you know, let's stay a wee bit of, let's stay a wee brief bit of Dead by Daylight gambling. Briefly. No more than three games. No more. Okay, bye. No, no, no. Just straight. Just get get gambling. I will think of something to do with the channel points. If you've got any ideas of what I can do with the channel points, please post them in my Discord. Oh, that's right. Caxal thinks it's up. I subbed over your holiday, but it seems I'm allowed to send you... A message now is thank you very much. See if you sub remember you've got to sometimes refresh to see the the thing. Fifty thousand channel points to not play DBD sorted. It could do like ten million to bin whatever game I'm playing. No, you don't want it. Like I really don't know what to do with them. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to just do like bl uh, blam requests and things like that, but I think of something. I'm sitting on 1.5 million. I'm never going to use. I will think of something. I'll think of something very, very good. I'm going this killer. I'm using these things. I'm going in that place, which is Larry's memorial, to, like his neck of the woods. And I'm asking you this question. Will two or more escape? You've got two minutes. Gamble your channel points right now. Let's queue up. Okay, dokie. I thought the VIP system was novel and innovative. Um, I 
I got rid of the VIPs because I wanted to just maybe make when I was playing like Dark Souls, the Dark Souls games and things like that, anybody who gave me tips that really helped me, they would be VIP so I could spot them kind of easily. Uh, and then I ended up not playing them anymore. And uh, so, Servant's Bind. VIP for gamblers. I'll do something else. I don't know what he did with the, the channel points. The nuke was the best thing about the channel, says Brad Space. Well, now it's gone. And it's no coming back. What do you think of that then? See the, see the water? Grey. Might paint that white. Maybe. Maybe. That's why, that's why, that's why. I can't remember why. Why change it? Just a wee change. Just a wee change. I like it. Liked it way. And then I think the reason <coughs> I just wanted a bit of contrast. Why that's that. Um, plus, I think it's because see, a bit of light comes in and shines on the one that's white. It, it makes it too bright. It blows the highlights, as they say. We don't like change. Well, I do. I never used to. No, I'm into it. I'm addicted to it. Especially if it involves a wee bit of risk. Like, see that, that person that I normally use for that thing? I don't know. Not a plumber, but, you know, something like that. Get something completely fucking different next time. See what happens. JP, thanks for sub. Thank you very much. <sighs> Here we go. I need the toilet. I was thinking about putting some sort of material wear it, you know, like kind of fabric you would get if you were like, you made clays, you're a tailor or something like that, or you liked, you know, I was thinking about like, as a kind of like a wallpaper type of thing, but I think it'd be fucking shite. Actually, the amount of fabric I would need. I just know something would happen. There'll be a wee spark that comes off or something. Up it fucking goes. And flames. Hey, here we go! Aaron, thanks, thanks for sub. Right, let's get him. My technique is to go kind of far in. Because that's where the survivors kind of start a lot. Let's go for him just now. Sure are. So I've got the brightness right up in there. Got it particularly high. I see you, that kid. You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna break all these uh <laughs> See if there's anybody else nearby. Oh I'll chase him again. 
I just keep on this cunt. What the hell? The gens are flying. I shouldn't have done that. Too well. Whoops, wrong way. I'm got it. I'm got it. Any hooks? That was really nice, so hard, very charitable. Twenty K down the tubes, nothing. They cannot change. Go for the slug. I oh, want uh, somebody stepped off that. Okay, okay. You never know, it could snowball. Maybe. Probably no. <laughs> One gen left. It's a, it's a wee warm up, it's a warm up. It's a warm up. <laughs> it's not everything's fine. It's just a wee warm up, everybody. <laughs> it's a wee warm up. Attacking. Hacking's what I'm seeing. Can safely kind of leave that gen. Let's just get this hold on ASAP. Hacking, eh? <laughs> I 
I've seen you before. Need these. Hold well on. It's all right. I don't know how the fuck to get up there. It's just a wee warm up, it's fine. It's just a wee warm up. It's a wee warm up, it's fine. I knew it. <laughs> it's a wee warm up, it's all right. Things can only get better, that's right. It's all right. I'll tell you what happened. Um, I can tell you what happened right now. That was daft. Don't do that. You're going to lose your blood list. Um, I didn't uh, tunnel enough. I didn't camp enough. Oh, either. And this one's hacking. I've seen speed like it. Keep it faith. We <laughs> teabag. Oh, we backwards run. We. It's because it's quite simple. Uh, I deviated from my technique. That's it. That's it. That's all that happened. There was obvious, some obvious hacking happened there, but I can't prove it. To me, very obvious. Right. No. Will two more escape? Unfortunately, yes. But we're going to go right back into a bet. Same bet, same same everything. Right? Ready up. Watch this time. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know, it's a different, uh, possibly a different map. Possibly a different map this time. Ray and Basquiel, Snowblow, Scotty, Just Jamie, Walkers, Aaron. Thanks for subs. Trash killer. As for your rang, watch. Um, let's have a 
here. Get in. Can't remember if that's a good place for me. Lot of fucking pallets. Can't remember. Not bad. Um, Grave of Glenvale. No. Midwitch is quite good for a uh, doctor. Good for nurse, but I'm not going nurse. I'm not going nurse. Betting in your favour, even though I have no hope. That's what you call supportive, says. Siren in the night. Um, I appreciate that, but you are actually going to win. So thanks for your support. On top of that, you're going to win. The technique is quite simple. You go, you walk for a bit, you go to some generators kind of a wee bit far away. That's usually uh, where the survivors are. You do a big fucking shock, a big area shock. Bumps them up to level uh, one, uh, tier one with the um, uh, tier one madness. And you tunnel one person. You try not to do too many shocks because that takes you out of bloodlust, which is a kind of speed boost you get if you just keep chasing. Um, hook them and then don't go too far away. Right, watch. That's right, on a two-story map, you can hit more people with a static. That's correct. That's correct. Right, so. Survivors will probably be out there a bit. I saw you. Don't know if I missed a closer hook, but uh, right. Don't go too far. May as well kick this door while I'm here, though. Right, no chase that Quentin. Fucking chase. Where's the blood? Is he doing stairs? Is that is that what I'm hearing? Aye, that's him down there, isn't it? Then I just dropped in here. I know another one. He's there. Was that the first one or the second one? I can't remember which one I got. We'll find it. We'll find it. Let's see. Second stage. First, right? That's, that's a different Quentin. Right, so I chased the rank fucking guy, right? Right, now I'm going to go after this cunt. See that one run away? Relentlessly. 
I blew it the first time. <laughs> Just tunnel. Oh, you take that. If you insist. I'm going to chase this guy everywhere. Kick every fucking pallet. What is that? See that one that's probably on the... Uh, That gen back there, ignore. Doctor's meant to be a kind of shite. Sort of kill it. Oh, please. Good. But I quite like a doctor because, um. Good for finding folk. Which I'm kind of shite at. I heard another one. Ah, I see scratches. And while you're here, was that the one that was a. Uh... I don't, that's the first one, and that's good, isn't it? I think. That's him out. May as well get rid of that while I'm here. For the miles. Actually. Somebody's up there. I think. Go up there. Right, see whoever this is. Right, I've never I've no I've not hooked this one before. They struggle. You just giving up? So she's dropped in, uh, dropped in. What about your, um, what about your camping strategy? In there. Hi there. Forgets how FPS games work. What are you on about? <laughs> Moving the shape. No, you. It's, you don't know how this game works. You've probably seen me like uh, the way I walk backwards, like moonwalking and things like that. That's a, te that's a technique. 
Take that seal. The sort of banging it was thing. I'm like looking at the was so the red light. The red light, uh, doesn't show. Like if I'm walking like that, there's a red light in front of me right now that they see. I don't, but there's a red light. If you do that, they don't see it. May as well get that. Standard. Dead by daylight. Techniques. That's getting done. That's getting done right now. Fucking hear it. I think she was hoping I was going to fall down the hole. Right. Leave that gin. That one's hunky dory. The only way into that one is that way. Right. Ah, you're there, are you? That's fine. She's the nail, he's on that gen. <laughs> Ignore. Ignore. <laughs> Take that. Look, I've done better. I've done better. Right, I can ignore that one. Let me just have one last wee look. Right, need to sort of pop out a fucking... That's still fucked, good. I think... Go for her. All right. Oh shit, that's it. Good. Somebody's out here. Right. Just stop these gens. That's still fucked. That's still regressing. Right. 
Maybe I should just go after him. A nice wee belt. Got to try and get him out that way. I should be doing better, really. He's throwing. <laughs> right, I think that's her then. Honestly, a trash team, an expert team. The best teams I've ever uh, played against. Full credit to them. They fucked up that gen. And he's popped through the fucking. I see you. Giving up halfway. Good stuff. Good stuff. End it. <laughs> That's it. He's actually bored them to death. That's what he wanted to do. It'd be lovely if I could do the, the Lemmy special. The Lemmy special is this. I sit here. Ha ha. I've got the hatch. Right? So there is. Right, fuck it. Quite a lemmy special. Uh, what the lemmy special is, I get to the hatch before them, right? And I just sort of sit there. They come to me, and they might go, Oh, he's in the hatch, I'm just going to run away and maybe try and do the gen or just run. But what I like today is that look, we nod, and then close the hatch. So they don't get it, and then go. No, no. I'm, I want you to go. Come at the gate. Come on. Come on to the gate with me. There you go. Go into the gate. And then I pull them off the gate. And and plop them up in the old hook. GGS. Lol. They said GGS. Can't see the chat. Good, that's the way I like it. The one final one. Who hurt you? Nobody.
Will two or more escape? No. No. One final Dead by Daylight bet. Starting now. Does that mean I have to have my legs in the air all night? I don't have a vase, do I? <laughs> well, I meant, I meant to cure. I meant to cure. We're in. We're in. Quiet dog thinks it's three quid. Well, I'm a special. I'm going to oh, interpret that however you know. <laughs> Todd 8 and 12 thinks the subs. The horror film Immaculate? I don't think so. Uh, um, Hawkins? Is Hawkins lab any good? Let's go to the a lot of pallets in that. Shit, what do I want? Glave, uh, uh, grave of Glenvale. That one for the blooper reel. Gary Arcade thinks it's up. Your TikTok videos have been brilliant this week. Just a thing I've needed to keep my spirits up. My wife gave birth to twins this morning, so it's been all go. Gonna ask if I could go where I'm limmy. <laughs> all the best. Hughes, thanks for three quid. US Open at Augusta starts there. Can we expect Conto McConto to make the cut? I will maybe maybe one day make an appearance there in the way that I made an appearance at the uh, Pendulum gig. Maybe they'll put a big video up, Conto there. They'll do a kind of uh, AR, augmented reality sort of thing where the camera like looks at the audience. No, the what do you call it? The kind of crowd there at golf. And it's as if Cunt was actually there when he's no. That kind of thing. Yeah, Wabs Nazem. Tokyo thinks it's up. Chug, thank you very much. Crow thinks it's up a bit. Sorry. Right, right, right here. Let's go. Let's go. Went the wrong way because of you. That was the wrong way. Hi there. There we go. Right. Let's get some of the chased. Hooked. <laughs> and camped. Most importantly, and then tunneled. Let's cut them off. <laughs> right, now let's get them camped. Proxy, sort of nearby camped. So, kinda nearby. Thank you, I heard that. Hello, yeah. I heard you. Camped a bit. Right, ignore.
Good, that's it. The most important thing is you've got the wee green thing to get you some points. Anyway, let's pop you back in the old hook, shall we? You're not struggling. Give up. Oh, shame. Well, you is near being in the Jensen. Away. Did they did they drop down or go into that fucking uh locker? I'm going to give you that. Very, very brave. Very decent, yeah. Oh, balance landing, very good. There you go, that's for everybody else. Gotcha. Uh. Oh, you getting in the way? You next. Chase. You don't need to break parts, says Doctor. Wrong. Wrong. If this or not. Um. Because when you do the shock thing, oh, <laughs> when you do the shock thing. It stops them from being able to vault the other parts or pull the parts to know that for like two seconds or whatever it is, a second and a half. But then you lose your um, bloodlust, that's this kind of speed boost sort of thing I'm going to be getting. Fucked up. Should go into that one. Did I kick that? I did kick that thingy, didn't I? Did I just... Put them there. Right. It could go better. Right, that's good, that's... They've got half that. Anybody here?
quail. Look, I've done better, all right. I know I have. Keep running. Yeah, yeah, you, you were gonna fake it. And yeah. What they doing? Well, she was going to like pretend that she's uh, going to jump out of the pallet, but then no. I'm not going to stray too far if you don't mind. Oh, hello. Go too close, she'll be able to jump off. Still fucked, good. Go. I mean, that's. That's her, surely. Neither can save her now. My friend, and you go. That's how I like to play. Hey, you there? That Jen's been hurt. You've just stepped off of that one. I see you. Well done, you. Watch this. So, I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to walk with her for a bit. She's going to struggle. I'm going to shake my head as if no, don't struggle. I'm going to take you to the, uh, the um. Watch this, right? I'm going to take you to the uh, the hatch. And let you look. I've got to prove it by look. Going past the hook, see? No hooking you. There it is. She gets back up. It's all right. On you go. Yeah. Yeah, this way. Come on. Come on. Go get to the uh, the gate, man. I just I wanted the I wanted the points for shutting the uh, the hatch. There we go there it is. Just in case there's any hat. Right. Now we'll go up to the right. As if I'm going to pull off, but I don't. Right. 
Now they're not. Now they're not. We have one hook. That's it. We shock. And I'll hit. And I'll shock. We hit. As if, I, you know, as if I've got a fucking screw loose. And if it isn't this that I'm playing, then I'm doing it for real. And then I don't say anything in the chat. Nothing. Nothing. Flipper says, "What is the point? What's the point at any?" Of it? Um, I don't really know. Well, two or more escape, that's a no. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Dan, Tom, Lerdo, Dion thinks of subs. Buy yourself something nice. Thank you very much. You saw them in that earlier game. Other survivors, obviously. No me. Uh, I mean, no, no them. Uh, all right, they didn't teabag at the gate or anything. But they thought they were it, didn't they? They survivors for the previous games. When they, you know the when they pulled in a pallet, just looking at me, or vaulting through a window and they just looking at me, like that. So. As far as I'm concerned, all these survivors, and I normally play Survivor at night, uh, they're all the same. If I can upset one of them, I've upset all of them. If I can make one of them think that um, they're getting carried to the hatch, and then I put them down next to the hatch, and they crawl to the hatch... And then I shut the hatch. And then I act like... I just wanted to shut the hatch. I get points for that. Sorry about that. Just a wee joke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to, let's go to the gate. And then go to the gate. Pull the lever and I pull them off and hook them. Hit them on the hook. Shock them and all the rest of it. If I can get them to go to their wee pals and go... I'm just not real into it anymore. I just don't like... It makes me dislike people. Then I've done my job. And hopefully they spread that. So imagine they've got like a few pals who play Dead by Daylight. They'll say to them, I'm not enjoying it. Ah, it's just it's so toxic. And because a lot of pals, they don't like to disagree with other pals, they'll go, ah, I suppose it is. Instead of, oh, no, it's not that bad. Misery loves company and all that. Ah, you know, it's all terrible now and... We're aiming for an uninstall. I've done it. I've been there. I've uninstalled that fucking game about a dozen times. But even that isn't as bad as it gets. The tunneling, see me tunnel, it's just... See... <laughs> I was playing it last night and there was actually a doctor I was up against. I was a survivor up against a doctor who was a tunneling doctor. The second you get unhooked, I saw them, I saw them running. The second you get unhooked, they're coming for you. They're ignoring everybody else. They're just like, get that one person out the fucking game 
and see when that's happening, you're like, right, I'm, I'm all right, I see this is the way the game goes. I'm just going to get chased. Now it's going to be shite. Um, it's fucking crap. Why is that bad? Because you just feel like fear. Uh, Crowcore thinks of the bits. Uh, f when you're playing it as a survivor, you, you, you just want, you want to, um, a good experience is, or you get a bit of a chase and you get hooked and then the killer sort of goes away. You get a chance to get off and then maybe get healed and do a bit of a gen. Oh, here comes the killer again. But see when somebody's just like that, See, know that you're the first one I've got, or you're the one I've got, that I'm just going to go for you until you're out the fucking game. You're just getting chased, and it's just kind of shite. I hate, I don't like it when that happens. So, if I can do that to other people, that makes it alright. And it's it's good strategy-wise, I think. Getting it for four people down to three as quickly as possible is a lot better than getting everybody hooked once. Because then you still got four people running about doing gens and healing and chasing and all the rest of it. If you can just get one person out the game, even though the other ones will just be doing gens all the time, it just makes it a lot easier. Get it down to three. Because once it's down to three, if you get one of them hooked... One has to go and fucking do the unhooking. The other one, only got one other person on a gen. And it's possible that two of them are thinking, who's going for the unhook? Who's doing it? Especially if you chase the person going for the unhook. Then the other person who's doing a gen is like, all oh, right, they're unable to do the unhook and they're getting chased. I'll better go and do the unhook. And then you got fucking one on a hook, two getting, you know, no doing anything. And then you get, I just tunnel and camp. And what I really like is seeing Dead by Daylight. The behaviour, the, the devs will do some sort of update, they'll nerf something, they'll buff something, and you'll get all these people complaining. It's ruined now. Um, it's, it's ruined. This is making it to this, to that. And I like seeing it. I love seeing things being fucking ruined. I'm a vandal at heart. It's um, it's who I've been my whole life, a vandal of kind of 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 a sort. Sad. We are seeing a builder on fire. The left, <laughs> the left back thanks to sub. I will ruin the lot. Thank you very much. John Picto and John thanks to subs. Scummy killer. Yep, they deserved it. Absolutely. Every single fucking time. I didn't set it, no. Josh, man, Dan Tom Lairdo. Thanks to subs. Thank you very much. Clen, thanks to sub. I I'm looking forward to watching the full Hanford Parish Council meeting. The wee maverick dog bomb. Thanks for subs. You'll let me your solo go leather face. Honestly, listen. I honestly do like people. In real life. I know everybody's a person in real life and all that, right? I do honestly like people until they've sort of annoyed us. I don't go about like people are fucking arseholes, aren't they? I've met people who really do dislike people and... They look at them as lower than... I've met people who have got a kind of... A, a classification fucking system in their head for people. You matter. You don't. And there's a whole body language to them. The way they speak to them. I've seen it. And it's fucking disgusting. I've seen that sort of... That thing. And you get people who are impolite. The worst kind of people... You know who I mean. You open the door for them and they don't say thanks. They walk right by while talking to somebody or sometimes no at all. If they're talking to somebody, you could be like, they got a bit distracted, they just thought the door was getting held open, they didn't really notice. 
But one person who actually can see you, looks right at you, you're holding the door open and... Uh, but other than that, I, I gener generally like people, but at the same time, um, fuck a fucking lot of them. I mean like in Dead by Daylight. Two groups of people, well, a killer on one side and four survivors on another, have decided to get together to exercise that part of the, the mind that enjoys beating other people. You get in everything. Darts, football, chess. You think you're better than me. I think I'm better than you. No, in terms of a person, but just better at this. And I'm going to risk my happiness by gambling. I'm going to gamble my happiness and get in a competition with you where the one of us is going to feel unhappy and the other one's going to be quite happy. I want me to be the happy one and you to be the unhappy one. That's what they're saying when they get into a fucking game with me. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. It is the joy of beating somebody else uh, at something. And you're willing to risk you feeling the uh, fucking shite when you lose. Well, they thought, the four of them thought they could run about and get the gens done. My gens. They thought wrong. They saw in their mind, we get that gen done, right, just one male. We get to the gate, and then we sort of... <coughs> that was a grief uh, sneeze. <coughs> and then we'll maybe hover about the gate and go... Like that. They made the mistake when they logged on the day I. They logged on where they can log off. Everybody, do you think I should upload my new viral video right after the stream or wait till about six? when the statistics are telling me that that's when most people are on. Do it live. Um, no, I'll do it after, because I've got, I've got to post it to about five or six different things. I can't be fucked with it. Don Corleone thinks it's up. Don't hate the player. I mean, I've already got it there. It's all saved. I just need to upload the fucking thing. Um, I prefer to just date it about this time, because what does it really matter? At the end of the day. Don't hate the player, hate the game. The game should be balanced enough to make tunneling not work uh, all the time. Keep up, big man. Exactly. It's like defence lawyers. If you're in need of def a defence lawyer, you'll be happy, but generally you've got to worry, you've got to wonder about defence lawyers. They'll fucking know that that cunt's guilty. They'll know. And it's their job to get them off it. But also, it's their job to do everything that they can to make sure there is an opposite to what the uh, prosecution's then that the, the to, to balance it out and find if there's any wee gaps in the law, if there's anything like that, it's all fair game. And in the same sort of way, anything that I do in Dead by Daylight, if it's possible, it's all fair game. I'm acting like I'm winning fucking game after game after game by my fucking malicious sort of techniques. I got fucking shot one. 
Except the, except the last one. No, 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 it was two, two I did all right. Anyway, um, the left back thinks the sub. Jim Pecto, John, Josh, Man, Dan Tom, Lerdo thinks the subs. I just want to finish with saying this about Dead by Daylight. I went through the fucking ringer feeling all these negative feelings about Dead by Daylight. Uninstalling, uninstalling again, uninstalling again. Um, and I came out the other end better and stronger, bigger, stronger for it. Stronger. Bigger. And I want them to feel that. I'm just a wee bit, the only thing that's disappointing is the lack of sad, uh, badness and sadness in the chat, post-game chat. I was hoping for a wee bit more. Uh, maybe a few asterisks. You know, stuff getting bleak to it. We'll see what we can do, though. I was, look, I was looking at uh, a video that somebody made with the... Um, the uh, skull skull merchant. She's meant to be a pain in us to go against, but she's also meant to be a bit shite. But I was looking at this video and I saw these advanced sort of techniques. I was like, Ugh, I don't know. I basically want to go the most kind of annoying killer. I don't want it to just be the best killer. The best killer is the nurse. That's the best one. But I don't want to do the whole fatigue sort of fucking push. Skull merchant has a 70% win rate. Oh, really? Not much fun to watch. Most annoying at the moment. Pinhead is very annoying to play against. Everyone DCs against Skull Merchant. Why, though? Because they changed a bit. You put the drones, like, near the uh, gens or something like that, and they go into it, and then they get injured, or... Camps Jens. I played as a skull merchant once before and I did the whole go to the three gens that are the closest together, get the fucking uh, drones up and let them do every other gen who gives a fuck. And eventually they got these three gens at the end and they've got to do one of them. And I just go between it and do all that. And, but they managed to fucking de they managed to actually get out. They managed to get the fucking gens done. And that's before that update where you can only kick the gens eight times. See if you do that technique and then you lose. That's a serious fucking defeat. I do like the doctor. I'm gonna think I'll stick with the doctor. The doctor's a pain in the ass. Anyway, right, I better go. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Mods, thank you very much for the modding. And I will fucking see you tomorrow. I'll be playing that night boss game that I've got. And I'll see if there's any other indie games I can play. Okay. I'm away to upload my latest viral video. Bye for now.